Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this speed ramp car edit using Filmora 12. This is so simple to create, so let's jump into Filmora and get started. Okay guys you can see I already added my clips and audio to the timeline. And here I added some markers to match the beats. And you can see these clips moving in the same direction. So if you want to change it, select the clip you want, and change it to reverse speed. So I like to create this edit moving in the same direction, so I keep it default. Okay now we need to create this motion, so let's see how to do it. So first I select my first clip. Then we need to match this clip's length to these markers. So go to the speed ramping, and select customize. Then select the speed graph, bring the start point to up, and also the end point. Then bring to little bit down this middle point like this. Then I use these points to adjust the clip length. So I bring a little bit up this second point, and it needs to be a smooth curve like this. Then I bring this point up, and it needs to be a little bit sharp curve like this. Okay, I take my second clip, and I add the same speed graph to this. Okay, now it looks like this. So now we need to apply this speed ramping to other clips too. So here I apply the speed ramping to my all other clips. So now I like to add some blur between these clips. It gives a smooth look when switching to the next clip. So go to the effects tab, select video effect, select basic, then select direction blur and add it to the timeline. Then I get 10 frames long part of this layer. And I change the direction to 90 degrees, and blur length to 0, and create a keyframe. Then go to the middle of this layer, and change the blur to something 20, then go to the few seconds forward, and change this to 0, and also drag this keyframe to the end like this. Okay, then I apply this blur effect to my other clips too. Okay, now we need to add transitions to these clips. So first I like to add transitions between these clips. So I add this slow flips transition to this, and I change this to 15 milliseconds. Okay, it's give great start for this edit, so then I use this dissolve transition for my other clips with the 10 milliseconds duration. So here I add dissolve transition for my all other clips. And let's see how to create this logo effect. So first I drag all these layers to third layer. Then I take a copy of this start clip and paste it here. Then I add my logo to the second layer. So now we need to create a mask around this. So I select this layer, select the pen tool, and draw the mask like this. Okay, then I adjust my logo scale and position. After that track our mask using keyframes like this. Okay then I like to add a little zoom look to our logo. So I create a keyframe on start, then go to the end, and change the scale to something like 90.
Okay, now it looks perfect. So now we need to create the logo animation. So go to the mask and select a rectangle mask. Then I increase the mask width and adjust the blur you like. So I change it to something 50. Then we need to create our animation using this Y axis. So I create it like this. Okay guys our logo animation is done. So now we need to add this color grading effect. So let's see how to do it. So first we need to add an adjustment layer. Then go to the effects tab, select video effects. Then select luma sharp effect and add it to our adjustment layer. Then go to the effects settings, and you can adjust the intensity you like, so I keep the default settings here. Then we need to add another effect called dual booster. So I add it to this adjustment layer. It gives a great look to our edit, so go to the effects settings, and I increase the value of colors on both dark and light settings. So guys now our edit is complete, here's the result. Also finally I recommend using the RSMB effect on After Effects. It gives a super smooth look for your edits, so I will bring a quick video about that soon. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this, and please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next, so let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.